So how can we deal with drawing a circle? So we have a center point on the circle, and we'd like to approximate this circle through a set of triangles. Like this. This is going to be the number of segments, and so on, going, going around. So let's look for what are the coordinates of this first triangle. We know how to draw triangles. So this is the center point, right? So point zero equals the center. Let's just call that uh, zero, zero for now. And point one, if this is angle alpha, point one is at zero degrees. And this is at alpha degrees. And this is at two alpha degrees going around, right? Okay. So our first question is, what is this point? Well, this point, this vector here, this vector, V0, we know this vector is just 1, 0. This next vector is the one that's more interesting here. So this vector 1, what is this vector 1? This vector 1, we can calculate this point here as cosine alpha, sine alpha. Right, this is this is the vector. This is the vector direction for vector one. So point one equals point zero plus cos alpha sine alpha. So this first triangle is going to be point zero dot x. Point zero dot y, and then one, and then zero, and then point one dot x, point one dot y. So if we consider this next triangle, what are we going to have? We're going to have some angle alpha, and we're going to calculate this direction. And then we're going to have some angle 2 alpha, and we're going to calculate the next direction. So what are we going to have? The center point is our triangle. So we've got we've got center, center dot x comma center dot y. And then we have the vector direction plus the center, right? So that should have been done here too. We should have the center plus this, this point because we want to move out to, to this point from if we click right if we have a we're drawing this circle on the origin but if we click out here we want to draw the circle out here we want to get this vector and add it to that to that center point so now we're going to have center dot x plus cos alpha maybe times the size of the of the vector how big is this triangle the radius and the next point is center dot y plus sine alpha times size and then the next point get a little more space here and the next point is going to be center dot x plus cos 2 alpha and so on so our goal to draw this circle is going to be to figure out the first triangle, then figure out the second triangle, and then figure out the third triangle. Oh, I was off the page. First triangle, second triangle, third triangle. And we now see how we can get the vertices for each of these triangles. And after we get the vertices, we can call our draw triangle fun function. So we should have defined some function that we can feed in all of our vertices and draw a triangle. We can get that triangle drawn. So now how are we going to do all of these? We're going to have something which looks like 4 angle equals 0, angles less than 360, angle plus equals step, right, where this step is alpha. So let me call it alpha. Uh, in terms of the number of segments that we want to go. And then inside this for loop, we're going to deal with the triangle that we're on, right? So this is one triangle. 
inside the for loop. The first loop through is going to deal with this triangle. The next loop through is going to deal with this triangle. The next loop through is going to deal with this triangle. And so on. So this is all we have to do. And after we go around, we just draw all the triangles. Just use our existing routine. Call all these triangles. And then we're going to get a circle.